What's going on, everybody? This is Crossman625, and today we're standing here back at the spawn point of, or should I say the new and improved spawn point of FalseCraft, which is the server for Minecraft that I and Kumar run. The IP is down in the description. It's also FalseCraft.tk, in case you don't want to look down there. Anyways, this is the new and improved spawn. Uh, if you didn't notice, I am in creative mode. However, if you watched the last previous video, videos and the trailers, you will notice that this is completely different than what you are usually used to. So right here, we still got the shop set up. There's still the default shops in the ponds. However, we're in this big enclosed building, which just happens to be part of... Wait for it. Wait for it. A lighthouse. Yes, we've decided to convert our spawn point into a lighthouse. Don't ask why. We just decided to build this tower on top, and then that came along with it, with the lighthouse. Anyways. You see here we got a fountain out front, as well as a moat that surrounds our whole spawn point, which is all in the safe zone. The moat is the the inside is the safe zone, the water and outer parts is the war zone. So you see here we got some floodgates, which makes it. I think that's probably the best part, in my opinion, just because the way it looks. But also, in case you like to do some PVP, if I can drop it down. Never mind, let's see that. Okay. The VA do have a PvP arena. However, right here is when it, the war zone starts, so you can kinda Yeah. But if you want to play legit, just come down here, hop in, you know, duke it out, and break the obsidian block like I just did. Whoops. Cause I am a creative. Anyways. There we go. And then right here you see to get back out, the only way out is to do slash spawn, in which if I can spell, it'll put you back right here. Anyways, again, you have this whole new area up here, which is, if we get more people on here, these are going to be more shop availables, uh, shops available, shop room available, so you can come in and, and purchase purchase a shop from us and, and have a different location. And if you can go all the way up to the top, you can view, get a nice little look around the world and see what what's going on out here. As you can see we have a tower right there that one of the people on the server built. He also built that one right there. But yeah, I mean so far we've had a good amount of people on average. There's probably about maybe six people on. I keep doing that. I keep forgetting my creative. That's not even the right color. There we go. So, but we're, we're hoping to get more people on. I mean, we, we have a lot more people that play but on average there's usually about six people on on average but we do have more people that come on there's more than just six that play on the server so again you see through this whole area we have little ladders you can you can run across and jump across this or you can you can hop in and, and use the ladder to get up it goes around the whole the whole perimeter but yeah that's pretty much the new spawn point of Pulsecraft uh, please visit the website and sign up if you haven't already, which is down in the description, falsecraft.freeforums.org. And yeah, so I'll just show you guys pretty much some of the commands right now, um, what you can do. So what you're going to want to do when you first start out, if you're new, if you've never used factions, if you've never used MCMMO, if you never used anything like that, then this is all going to be new to you. And it's going to be a little bit, it's not really difficult to learn, but it's going to be a little confusing at first. So basically you come out into the war zone, then you're going to want to get out of the war zone and in the wilderness. Now when you're in, when you're in the wilderness, you're able to claim land. Now claiming land is, in, is as easy as creating a faction, doing slash F space create, and then the name of your faction, all one word, no more than 10 characters. Then just press enter. Then to claim land, you do slash F space claim. And you see there it says that I claimed land for my faction, which means nobody else can come in here and destroy this little area that I have as you see it ends right there so whatever you're standing on it will get a little radius around you and you will have that area claimed and then you see whenever anybody enters that area it'll say what your faction is in the description you set I'm just gonna unclaim this because I don't want it there we go 
So basically, you just go out. You you either you can join a faction, so you know that if there's people on, you can chat with them. You know, maybe pair up and join a faction that's already in existence. Right now, our main faction on here is Freakazoid. They're pretty much pretty much reaming the server right now. They got a lot of a lot of diamond and supplies and stuff. Huh? There was a little house right there, but somebody destroyed it. See, that's what happens when you don't claim your land. If you don't claim your land, people will destroy your stuff and take your stuff. I mean, you see over here. This was, I believe, Joe's house, and somebody came by and and TNT'd it, cannoned it, and now it's pretty much all destroyed. You're going to want to go a little bit away from the spawn. I recommend you build either underground or way high in the clouds. That way nobody can get to you, or it's less likely they'll find you. So pretty much all you do is go out, you, you play Minecraft as you usually would, you know, collect stuff and all that stuff, and yeah. We have an economy system, so if you type in slash BAL or slash money or slash balance, it's all the same thing. You'll see how much money you have. I have eighty thousand and eighty dollars. Easy way to get money is to either mine is to just, just come into the admin shop and sell pretty much sell anything you have, really. I mean if you're mining for diamond, you'll collect a lot of cobblestone. Just sell the cobblestone. And if you if you go on to mind status, I'll put a link down below. You can vote for us on mind status each day. You can vote once each day. You'll get a thousand dollars each day and one diamond. So you just come in here and be like, "Yeah, I have 64. What the heck? Huh? I have 64 cobblestone, and I'm gonna sell it back, and or I just sell it and I get a hundred. So you just right click on the signs that correspond with what you're trying to sell." As you see, there's a wide range. And we do have some new items here. We have uh, arrows, pork, and you can actually buy XP and sell XP, which I don't know if that even affected it because I was in creative. But that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. You can go out, make friends, make enemies, do whatever you really want to do. There's only a couple rules, which are don't grief the spawn, obviously you can't, but try to keep this general area around the spawn and the war zone and stuff neat. That way new players can can get the same experience you get when you join the server. And that's really what we're looking for. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Kumar69 on YouTube's iDevice Review Guy or on the website, Kumar69. Or in game before in game. So that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to... Head over to Mind Status and vote, and you'll get your rewards daily, $1,000 in-game, and one diamond. As well as sign up for the website, which is freeforums, or sorry, falsecraft.freeforums.org. Again, IP is falsecraft.tk. Feel free to hop in and join anytime. This is a dedicated server, ran for you guys by, by me and Nick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always... Have a nice day.